sunlight or whatever. So today, <laughs> stop laughing. Sorry. We're actually gonna go to some thrift stores, and I'm gonna teach you guys, you know, like the inside scoop on how to not waste your time at a thrift store. So yeah. I hope you guys are looking forward to it. Bye! <laughs> okay, hey guys, welcome to my channel. When thrifting, you got to be consistent. That is the number one rule. Very open minded when trying on clothes. Very open minded. Make a pattern work, you know? If it's 99 cents or like $2.99 and you think you can make something worth it, don't be scared. Believe in yourself. Maybe you can. Maybe you can make it like some dope shit and sell it for like $25 and you got it for $2.99. You know? Finesse. Oh, <laughs> why you got a room like that? If you look at like every single rack and you look at piece by piece, you trust me, you're not gonna go anywhere. You need to look at you need to look at a rack, right? And you need to see a pattern or a color that you like, or at least this is how I do it. I look at a pattern or a color that I like, and then I see, I look at it, and then if I like it, I like it. But that's literally how I do it. Like, I browse it. Like, because, you know, if you've been to a thrift store, you know how many racks there are. There's racks on racks on racks. Racks on racks on racks. Neighborhood thrift stores are gold mines. You guys should definitely check that out. Cause as you can tell, thrift stores are really like the hype right now. So a lot of teenagers are Googling thrift stores and going to the biggest one. So we, a way you can avoid that is by going to neighborhood thrift stores, like ones that you can find behind churches. Churches, they usually have like thrift stores so they can like get money for the church. Those are freaking gold mines. I found a Tommy bag there for like 99 cents. If you know me, it's my bag that I use every day. And it's clean. Well, at least I think it's clean. And I got it for 99 cents. So yeah. Um, also, this is something I got at a thrift store. Well, I didn't get it at a thrift store, thrift store. I got it online, which is basically like the same thing. Cause it's like a worldwide thrift store. But yeah, I got it for super cheap and I love it. And if you know me, you know I love Tommy and Yellow. So it's like I had a cop. I actually got this from a guy up in Chicago. He has like a little resale store. And so that's another thing. No connects. Like, there's a bunch of people out there like selling stuff on Instagram or like they have like little stores like on Depop or something. Have your connects, you know? He, he knew I loved Tommy and Yellow, so he sent it to me. And he was like, look, I got something for you. And I was like, you're real as fuck. But yeah, um, if you guys want, I can also link his Instagram. But yeah, also, some apps that I like to use is Depop and Mercury. I think that's how you say it. But yeah, they're really good and they have like these options 
that if you search something and it, if it doesn't have like if it doesn't come up or they don't have it, you can press like this button and it'll notify you if it comes up. So that's really cool. It saves me a lot of time because I can just get the notification, press on it, and boom, like I just caught the shirt. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. So we're about to leave. The first thrift store was not really successful, but that's okay. Because the first rule of thrifting is <laughs> to be consistent. Why is this so extra with everything she do? <laughs> so we better go to the second one and we'll see y'all there, whatever. Bye. <laughs> Rich, stop doing that to my fucking camera. <laughs> Okay, our second stop is Full Court Classics Vintage Apparel. Girl. <laughs> I hate this bridge. <laughs> Thing that will really make your life easier is if you know your measurements. Sometimes if you go to like a church thrift store, they don't have any fitting rooms. So you can either know your measurements, bring like a little tape ruler thing, or you can wear like loose clothes. So you can try it over, like some leggings and a tank top. You know, anything like that would really make your life easier because you don't want to miss out on like a great buy just because you don't know if it fits you, you know? Oh, also, I don't, I don't believe in that to be honest with you. If I see something cute and if it's like a large or something, I will, I will make it work. I will definitely make it work. Especially if it's like 99 cents, you know I'm about to make that work. I have a bunch of shirts that like are larges and mediums and men and those are like huge. So I just like to play around with them, you know? You can do stuff like cut them, tie them, just get out of your comfort zone. Really try something new, because 10 out of 10 times, it'll look cute as fuck, if you're a bad bitch. <laughs> Hey, come visit Full Courts. They got some clean ass shit. How much money you spent? Don't talk about it. <laughs> Don't talk about it. 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 Don't talk but the things are kind of pricey because they have very nice stuff, very vintage, um, rare stuff. So yeah, you guys should definitely go check that out. It's beautiful. It has a lot of Tommy, Supreme, everything you can think of basically. So yeah, check that out. I'm going to try to post like pretty often but I work a lot so I'm going to try to balance it out some way. Hopefully I'll figure something out. If you guys like this video, please tell me so I can make more and I can be more confident with my next videos. I really appreciate it. If you guys have some advice for me, I'd like that too. And I like to show you guys like how I see things, just so you guys can expand your consciousness or, you know, just learn some new tips or ideas so I can try to make your life easier. If you want to send me something that you would like me to talk about or cover or just anything at all just let me know you can either message me on any platform create learn something new believe in yourself believe in your path believe in your hobby you got this I believe in you <laughs>